All right, our election coverage continues now. Our political analyst, Joe Fleming, got three hours of sleep. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much. We know you were here late last night, and so thanks for waking up and dissecting all of this with us this morning. My pleasure. He's been talking a lot lately over the yeah, last couple of weeks, yeah. so uh, it's kind of like the end of a long road trip. The uh, tank is on almost E right now, right, it's Joe? It's almost there. The voice is almost gone. Voice is gone, too. All right, let's get through this if we can. <clears throat> Start with the race for Rhode Island's congressional district, right. second congressional district. Republicans hoping to flip that seat for the first time in more than 25 years. Turned out to be a disappointing night for Alan Fung. Uh, what went right for Seth Magaziner? Well, what went right was the fact that Democrats came home. Even Alan Fung said that last night. Right. We saw in our polling that Seth uh, Mag Magaziner was not getting a big enough number of Democrats. Alan Fung was getting about 24 percent of Democratic votes. I think they came home last night, which turned the race for um, Seth Magaziner. All right, let's talk about Alan Fung. I mean, he's had two bids for governor that didn't work out for him. He loses last night for the CD2 race. What do you see for his political future? I don't see too much for the future. He's a three-time loser now, unfortunately, for him. Um, he's a lawyer. He said last night he's going to go back and practice law. I would assume he will probably do that. I mean, the thing to look at last night, the city of Cranston, he only won that by about 1,000 votes. Mm -hmm. In the area, he should have won by a lot more. And that contributed to it last night. So I think Alan Fung may have run his last race in Rhode Island. So the race here, just part of a bigger picture, right? On election night, many had predicted a so-called uh, right. massive red tidal wave across the country, Republicans being swept back into power, but really hasn't materialized. No, it hasn't. It looks like the Republicans will control the House, but not by a lot. It's going to be fairly close. In the Senate, it looks like we may not know for another three weeks when they have a runoff in Georgia. Mm -hmm. All right, so former President Trump, you know, he, he was trying not to detract, but he said he's going to be making a big right. announcement next week. So some are expecting that he's going to announce a run for the presidency again. Should he be rethinking support, or should people be rethinking support for Trump based on those results? Well, the results, some of his people that won primaries yeah. lost last night against Democrats. Right. So that might tell him a little something down the road. But Donald Trump's going to do what Donald Trump wants to do. We've seen that the whole time. So if he feels he wants to run again, he's going to do it. He doesn't care what happened last night. All right, now let's talk about the governor's race in Rhode Island. Dan McKee winning, uh, easily defeating right. Ashley Kalis. Uh, were you surprised by the margin of victory? Absolutely. I don't think anybody thought Dan McKee was going to win this race by 19 points. Mm. Now, he's the biggest win for a Democrat since, I think, Bruce Sullivan in 1992. So, I mean, this was really outstanding for him. People thought it would be close. Our polling showed a double digit lead for McKee, but there's been no polling for the last month, and a lot of people thought the race was tightening up, and it was just the opposite. All right, so much has been just on the campaign itself. So what do you think would be a priority for Governor McKee uh, in his first full term as governor? I would think education. Even when he was mayor of Cumberland, education was always important for Dan McKee. And I think he's going to focus on that over the next four years, trying to improve education in the state of Rhode Island. All right, Joe, thank you. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a grind, I know, I the know. last couple no of problem. weeks. Voice barely hanging out for us. Yep. Just enough so we can hear your... Uh, Expert analysis, as always. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate it. We're going to have those election results as well for you all morning long. Scrolling at the bottom of your screen, you can find a detailed look at all of our local races online at WPRI.com.